Welcome to the Big Massive Podcast with me, Roland Leon Nile. How's it going, everybody? Fuck, tired. Nothing to talk about. <laughs> well, you're not going to believe us. Who was oh. it that I was meant to interview? Somebody that was re- really fucking... John good. Barnes. Barnes, eh? Phone call today. Hit you're you. not going to believe us. Hit you. John Barnes on the phone. He rang you? Rang me. No way. I didn't believe it. I said, who the fuck's us here? And he says it was John Barnes. He says, I knew it was, I knew you knew it was me. Or I knew he was telling the truth. Family he says that he loves my stuff. And... Uh, <laughs> He's got is, that, is, that, is, that, is that how you pass the test? Eh? No, I was, I, I was in the middle of telling you. See when AI becomes sentient, do you love my stuff? Yes, I love your stuff. <laughs> uh, that's not a robot there. Was the real John Barnes? What does he want? That's what it's saying. He says, I know, he says I, have, I have a movie coming out. And he wants me to act him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's racism. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do blackface? <laughs> You're going to get him the character. Yeah, but you remember he had football, so. Uh, remember he had rapping? Mm, fuck. Remember, but you didn't see Blee rapping, did you? Yeah. Oh, there's a video somewhere. We have to get it. Show the people. They need to see it. Blee told it's the nearly worse than Cadillacs and fucking sandals, or whatever you call it. Blee it's told ours. me a story, I'm not going to tell. He's wait, he was waiting on me, dude. He's, t- he's been waiting for years to bring it up in the pod. Good. Aye, it's a good one, aye. Tart. Told? No, that I'm told. It's not a story, it's just a happenstance. So was John Barnes not on the phone? I didn't mean, I was, that was a wee joke at it, and you ruined it by fucking interrupting in the middle of it. And I was meant to say, yes. But it's not play. outside the realms of he possible. Asked me, he asked me to play him <laughs> the movie of his life story. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's coming for England. England, oh, the, the rap band, what you're on about now. That was rough, I don't know. Still does it. Did you see you coming Jurgen Klopp to it? The after party? No. I shaved it on. Somebody sent it to me. Uh, Klopp up giving on everything. Klopp just loves us if we crack too, doesn't he? <laughs> Klopp. My, well. What? See the news. He's leaving now. Anybody that doesn't know it, Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool manager's left. Because not everybody listens, knows football. But see your man slot. His first day in office must be the loneliest day in his life. Because everybody's still got hangovers. They're all still out celebrating. There's gable walls with fucking clap on them. Mm. Like, he was he knew everybody. Canteen, right up, everything. He was, it was, it's like, somebody dying, wouldn't it be? You'd know everybody in the canteen, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's the, you know what you call those boys? Like, like, you'd be, you'd be you, like, what do you call your man plays right back? And then you'd be like, fucking Geraldine McNamee there down in the fucking, down in the, the canteen, I know her. Do you know what they called me in the canteen? Like, the, the queue? First. <laughs> Move! <laughs> or, and boys in the back, we just There he is again, putting the fucking car- the caramel squares in my pocket. Fell in the pocket, we sweet. But uh, what were we on about? Uh, Slot's first day. Could you pitch her, but nobody's going to like him. I think that everybody will give him a chance. Like somebody I'm going to give him a had. chance, but you're, it's like your best cousin or your uncle or somebody that you really... F- and then he's gone. And somebody else is coming in and you're following everything he's on about and all his ideas and then it's all, no, it's different now. No matter who comes on. Your man's about to be a bit of a motivator too. That's where they went for him. That type. But sure, the jury's out. Dull drums now for 25 years. We're going to do a man in edit. I was reading the stat tonight. That what? Slots, that Liverpool's 12th manager in all t- of all time or something. And 22nd manager of all time. Liverpool. And Chelsea have had 22 managers mm. since September 2022 or something. Why did they get rid of Pochettino? Mm. Like he was turning it around? He was. Uh, it's a fuck a lot of game. We should on. change this podcast on the football podcast. The knowledge that we know. All right. Like we can go deep. And depth. I'm fed up talking about it. <laughs> Um, we could go deep because I know people don't want to hear us talk about Liverpool sure I see Joe Rogan podcast I don't listen to the fight companion do you think McGregor was on the rip or not they reckon it might have been a wee bit of a the way what happened I don't know. she was in a club last week with the wife top off looked like he was drinking thing. kissing the wife dancing looked like he was on the rip they reckon it might have been a bit of a where's their fight coming up uh, a couple of weeks now three weeks fuck 
I'm doing three one minute rounds and I'm fucking off the drink. I'm gonna start next week. <laughs> Shadow boxing's the weirdest thing. I don't know, sir. You look like a dick in the gym. Not as much as you do when you run around the bare belly now on your fucking bike. Man, you want to see you running from the back on the treadmill? You ever see Phoebe from Friends? <laughs> you, look, you, look like Seagal. you look like you're falling over for 10 minutes. I had it on full hold, you see. What do you see, Mark? Oh, <laughs> you, you were running around. I was, every you time really? I turn around. You turn on a, you turn on a fucking screen. Every time I turn around, around, it's like Niles put his phone away in the gym. You're hitting the bag, you turn around, you're like... What do you see us here? Send it to me and I'll put it up on the, the vid. That's me full sprint there, dude. Is that minutes. full sprint there? That's 12 mile an hour. You're lucky, lucky you're falling over. Big fell there. Big wingo wings. I'm massive, but... I'm doing that there, they replicate punching. What I, was it? I what would... did we do when I did the, the punch faces? We could have clipped that. We're just fucking clip junkies now, aren't we? Uh, what do you call them? He done cardio, and I would say you ran for about four minutes. I done ten fucking rounds, two minute rounds with thirty second break. How the fuck's that? I've now on, I've on done the four run sprints. I go up one a week. Four what? Four for how long? How long? You thirty spent? seconds. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Same thing. Four thirty seconds. You fall off it the way you walk. No, no, no. no Tap no. off it just. Probably too fast. I probably right. Are, can you sprint? Uh, on the, right. on the treadmill, eh? Let's video you from behind and see what you fucking look like. Oh, you're gonna be John man. Wayne. No, no, no. Athlete body. The kneecap kid. You know what I mean? He, no, no, no. Special no. boy. I'm Lump Along. No, no. He was born in the 80s, wasn't he? Lump Along. Up the entries. What? Up your entry. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you're fucking walk. You walk like you're shot, kneecapped. And then there's a couple of boys in your gym too. It's seconds me start walking like you. No boys will look up to you and watch you doing a bit of training. Oh, I want to be like that. That's the whole they thing. walk behind him, man, too. It's like fucking plan lips. <laughs> <laughs> Walking like him. <laughs> I'm the alpha, you see. <laughs> That's what happens. And you see it. Fucking wet. God, stop doing the walk. I remember everybody did Paul McFadden back in the day. McFadden was the best at karate. Say, in Tyrone. So to know. us, that was the world. The universe. Because there was no Wi-Fi on him back then. He just had to. Because we used to train in the gravel, son. We used to train in all weather pits on the ground, bare feet. And they battered everybody, but they all started walking. He had a wee moustache, and then everybody in the club had a wee moustache. <laughs> <That's laughs> One of the boys was that bad. Paul was going bald, so he fucking shaved his head up bald looking, even though he wasn't going bald. Like, he was receding, your man shaved the receding fucking line out of his head. Another boy, too, obviously, and they all know who they're here, held his stomach in the changing rooms. Like, and he didn't even try and do it cool. It was like, go. <laughs> But I mean, you know he's holding an unlock. What are you doing? Thank and you. then I had a pink uh, credit shirt because a sock one, that red sock. Because <laughs> <laughs> <then, laughs> I only washed my suit like once every fucking two I can years. Still smell that hall. <laughs> boxing gyms too. Real. Uh, yeah, my boxing bags I got. I had to get new wraps there. I'll send you in your new wee. Stop watching me training, you fucking. I was talking to you. Listen. I was going to do the guts here. <laughs> mad about himself, too. Your mouth, you're mad about yourself. You can't see yourself. I bet you're all like, hey, everybody in the gym thinks I'm the fucking best boxer. See if they'd have got me when I was three pedos. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been some boy. <laughs> see if I'd have see got you in the ring. <laughs> See if I pulled you out of the ground. Imagine I got you in the ring when you were <laughs> <laughs> Ring, ring. Poop, poop, poop. Oof, that punched you in the ring. Right, let me hold you. You know what I mean? There's so many things. No. I was the last one then. We're on about the fighting. At some weekend, hey, we uh, we just did our big, la- massive fucking live podcast. Should've some say, it. some say it was the best one yet. No? Uh, I do, yeah. I think it was the best one yet. Uh. I think it was the most professionally ran. School night put a lot of people off, but in terms of show, it was... But it brought the right people. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> All no, do you know what it was? I think people didn't... I'll tell you, Mickey Bartlett's in here at the end of the month, right? I put that on. I put it out the day of the live pod. Cause I didn't want to clash because Mickey was doing the live pod. Mm-hmm. But people got tickets for here. Is that 
know what I mean? I thought they were because they thought that was party time. Not going up there. Last time a day had a hangover for fucking two days. Because you, our first, I think it's our fourth now, is it or fifth? Fourth, aye. Fourth. So the first three was party time, and we sold it like that. We sold it like electric arcade. Fucking come, get your well, tip tight. Fuck. First one, first one was unique because it was the first time we done it. Second one was fucking chaos. Christmas. Oh, that was fucking. That was just people up on the stage doing shots and getting in headlocks and bare bellies and <sighs> arguing and all that crack and. It was just chaotic. I think boys were around corners and everything. That was just a money maker. Aye, man. Cha-ching, so we I agree. We only done about twenty. But man, nobody enjoyed it. So, I'll tell you what. When it got to the podcast, but it was over. Aye. And people knew. This is the thing too. We we had no confidence in thinking ourselves because we were dicking it up with music and bands and or no. You know what we did. The, we did. We wanted to get a pile of band people. They entertain it. Was so, that first one was great. Aye, it was uh, because we had all the comedians from the town. I think I headlined that one actually. Didn't they? Or did we bring in a bit? Keezy? Keezy MCs. I uh, headlined. And, um, was that two years ago? Couldn't be. It is. Not last summer, summer before. Mm. Fuck. We've got old and grey since then. So then we had Glenn Hargan and Glenn Rose doing music. The yeah. old buddies. So it was all mates and all that fucking flew on a show. Then we just, the, the next two just got two people came for the rip. Aye. So there's ones, and I think, was it Christmas, a, the worst time of the year, I think. People landed stoven. Right. Round tables, people with their back days. I remember at one stage at the Christmas, there was empty seats and everybody was at the bar talking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would tell you, but I stayed me closer, but we'll get that. Aye, but. Aye, so it was a great, uh, this one, but we did it like a. But then the last one was becoming more of a show as well. So we had, we, we broke it on the like half hour quick Aye, segment. And that's the best way to do it. And me going out and explaining what the day entails. And like people were drinking the whole way through the last one, but nobody was at the bar. It seemed like everybody was sitting on their seats. So we were giving breaks. Right, this is the point. And Keezy always ran, and any good MC will tell you, a proper MC tells people what's going on because if you don't have that preface of what's going on... Aye. You'll not know when to go. People just go to the bar when they think they need another drink or, or if they go, right, there's one more comedian, then you can go for a pee. Aye. Right, I'll sit through this. Do you know what I mean? And they'll enjoy it, and then they'll go, and you give them good time, and they're all settled down again, and then you go again. Do you know what I mean? So I, think I went out and did 10 minutes of doing that. I didn't really do stand up, I was just chatting about mm. it. I just said, right, get, maybe get them silent, remember? Yeah. See if you can get a room of 150 silent they get. You know you're doing, they're listening. Mm. And then we moved on, then, and getting, then dealing with the hecklers. Fuck up, you're not in goggle box too. Because the, pe- the pod was one of the best parts too. The pod, I, people, out of all the ones we did, that's the best pod we did. And Blee, that's the one he would have enjoyed most. Aye. Because people are listening to this. Aye, because I had to wrap you up. It was like... Aye, we were 40 minutes on. Mm. We said, well, 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 this is what we do. We go, right, get comedians on for 40 minutes, take a 25 minute break, we'll do 10. And, <laughs> do you know? Yeah. Well, we, were, we could have had an hour no bother. Maybe we should just... It was more like this. There was more Aye. conversation. I was relaxed too. I so was I. Yeah. I had the leg, I had looked down my leg over the thing. Because I had a, oh, I, I think I only had a pint of water. It was all, uh, See, mental. I had a few beers. I had three beers the whole night. It's just spaced them out. I just treated it like a comedy night. But I wasn't nervous. I just didn't need, I didn't, like the first couple definitely beer because I was nervous. I think that's a good idea, but they have, even the photo, all, we, all boys like us, all we need is to take a photo of me up. Stay to me and then chat about that mess for you no. Know, <laughs> it always triggers on your brain to chat about like. Mm. I went to, went to close it down early and then Kel Ronnie Ronnie then came on. Was a <laughs> that was fucking good hey and the boys the bell fucking Declan ripped the roof off her. Didn't they? Hey? And Declan is also coming to the boiler room at the end of the end of this month. I've never seen some people folded. Over with laughter, the way Declan folded so many people. Oh, uh, at the front? <laughs> huh. They were just in stitches and pains laughing. <laughs> I know. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's great. And he was buzzing after it, and he won £50, and he gets a slot in the next right. boiler room mm-hmm. night. And I love in here even more, probably, than up there, because there's something different about in here. It's just a different laugh coming at you. <sighs> and then, man, like, one comic... Like the, there's a there's a fine line between dark comedy and <laughs> Mick Sham and the fanny joke. <laughs> joke. That's not even fanny too. He's like I don't know if he thinks the word pussy sounds more uh, uh, user friendly. <laughs> so, 
But fair play, they may just battered away. <laughs> man. So anybody that doesn't know Mick, a new comedian, um and he runs a club in Letterkenny. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. But spelt laughter. Sell laughterhouse. Alright, I may know. Mm, well Brains. But he uh we I'm here, I did one of these see whatever there's a week in the hunt's happening. I did like a comedian to come together and do Slaughter just spelt laughter away. <laughs> It's just slaughter. Spill through. Anyway. <laughs> anytime uh, you, I catch, anytime the you catch me with stupid, I just go through. It's like that scene from fucking... Um, no, the, Noah's oh. Ark when all the fish are going, <laughs> let, me <in! laughs> let me in! Just the hangover where all the calculations are going by his head. I was like, uh, it's laughter, but it's got an S in front of it. I was like, uh, that's slaughter. Isn't it? Isn't it? Laughter. It's laughter. Well, he make, makes the S a different colour now. Genius. But he tells a joke about his wings pie. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. And I told it this room here. I got. Ten. I know, but you know what? There's a way. To, there's a better. Exactly. You know it, it will get better telling that joke. I said them. So this is my point. I'm here with 15 comedians that are all just doing comedy to comedians, which is really hard. And I wanted the awkwardness. Just having an awkward trying to tell jokes day. He told that joke. We're all going to get feedback, and we all said to him, don't ever do that joke again. <laughs> ever. And I just run down. I guess it's never. Never, man. Chicken box. About a month later, six weeks later, he's got her polished. <laughs> and I don't mean as we girls do it. Too. <laughs> but it's not that's, far off. The joke's not the, far off it. That's the amateur, like. Aye. So, the word in the nod there, I, and the night of the live pod... The boys landed on the four lads that were entering Kilroney. And I laughed. You're not going to do that joke about the Wayne's Pussy, are you? It was all right, 100%. <laughs> so when it, the way Kilroney works is we stay on stage where the acts go up and then we critique them and give them a bit of crack. Or do you know what I think it is too? It's something you feel like it's wrong to laugh at. So even if you find it funny, you can't be seen laughing uh, at it. Uh, because... Uh. You can't laugh at because at the end, like I was going to say, them on stage, I can't tell if you're a comedian or a fucking pedo. <laughs> so uh, it's just a um, man. No, I can't tell if he's a, a father with a newborn way or if he's a fucking pedo. There could be a way of telling that without being. Do you know what I mean? There's, I don't know how. <laughs> Once you just have to dump in the bin, Mick. And bin. I and I don't think women appreciate that joke. No, half the woman in the room just went. <laughs> so that, uh, Did you hear that, Patricia? That dirty bastard. Straban just shut down. Do you know what? People did. People like, because we told them all to be supportive, and some people were supportive. Like, over. Oh, aye, aye. Some people. Like, they tried to give But them. see, every single gig, especially home gigs that I do, there's always somebody's got some sort of complaint afterwards about anything. And you'd be sidewinded by once. You're like, what? I laughed at Branya. Branya's phone was ringing. She just sat there. Like everybody's looking down on her phone. Was it? Ah, was it her? She just sat there. No, she didn't want to, she's probably thinking I don't want to put them off. I'll bring it away. Ah. You sure it was hers, but? Uh, oh. They handed it there. <laughs> Turn that phone off. I so, um, I the boys did well and then fucking finished with a song and then wrapped, wrapped. Uh, we, you were know the we were you home, know I was the, home by half ten. Do you know what the worst thing was? Your man Declan absolutely tore the place <laughs> off. The roof off it, everybody folded over, laughed straight on the fucking Wayne's pussy joke. Like, it just went from there. <laughs> fucking. And I knew it was coming, so, and I told you. Oh, no, I know. Like, so we were all waiting for it, because he was doing well. And that's the point. See if you're doing well, know that. And better, you know what? Maybe now isn't at the time. Because I always tell the boys if you're coming to do five months and it's for a prize and stuff like that, do your best five. Do you know what I mean? And um, he did it. <laughs> He fucking he did done. it. He just went. <laughs> Share out among you, shit cunts. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, your man, your man, Jared thing done great too. Yeah, Jared's people great. loved him. Jared brilliant. Jared was so relaxed up there. Comedy him. sounds good in like a Dublin accent. Do you know what it is? I've realised. We you think that too, but it's whoever you're more exotic the further you go away. Uh, because there's some places I go and we just talk the way we talk. It's like Strabanter used to do, always fly videos and we didn't tell any jokes. We just did voiceovers. Hey, sir, get down that wall. No. 
didn't do any jokes. There was no punchline. It was just fucking use your hilarious that accent. It's like Glasgow or Belfast. Yeah. I think it's just been away. Isn't it? It's just been a little way there. No. So I uh, great fucking night. Eh? Better set up too, I think. Aye. Smaller tables. Met everybody face the front. Yeah. And I didn't mind some people came together and just put their tables together. Hmm. <laughs> no, I didn't mind as long as they're all facing forward. And it was good. Then the next day I went to the big gay wedding. Good. Class, man. I mean, you got the well and all too, didn't you? Everything, uh, and then, you know, t- the good thing was they didn't have to go to the chapel. Class. Straight to the hotel, and then it was done right. Celebration more than prayers. Mm, there have been a few weddings that have been in the hotel. And then draft uh, Heineken on draft. <laughs> Free. Free? I'm a Heineken drinker, Rick. Free as a bird. Red wine, I guess, but I didn't start buying drinks until 10 o'clock at night. So everyone was just free. We were sitting at a great table. Hey? Sitting in the... They must have put us together in madness. One of them's a gay boy. Like, and he's told me he's never, ever went by a gay man. Just married man. No way. Then I gave me a list. No way. And I forgot every single one. <laughs> you know what I'm like? I was doing no way all night. No way. No way. I only remember one name. Fuck. Yes. I says you're a lion. He says I swear to God, Rome. and I'd love to be waking up hanging out of you in the morning. <laughs> That's what he says. We're in front of, in front of everybody else, and we're all laughing. No, but he says then he kept saying, it. and I was like, uh, "Am I uh, in for the ride here tonight? Uh, <laughs> Am I going to get lucky?" But um, no, great. Then I got drunk again. No, I was going. Um, I was saying things like they celebrate the boys' big occasion. I'm going to. Uh, the bar is actually like a black guy, right? <laughs> yeah. In honor of the fucking gays, I'm going to buck the oh, woman yeah. up the bum tonight. <laughs> I'm going to send the old dolls and all to <laughs> They're all laughing. <laughs> uh, Celebration the only in all the night. Just being uh, only in all the night because there's no one. It's okay. It's all dirty with the lads. Then we're just saying things to her. <laughs> You're just all What's about more manly people? than fucking a man, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's stuff then, and, and then boys are saying we clips and all. There's people so, everywhere now turning down their radio. Doing brilliant, doing brilliant until just to remember. Alexa, volume two. <laughs> out in the fucking dance floor, just hamming it up. Being gayer than the gays. Do you see if we're on Alexa now, and I shout a command to Alexa? Does Alexa. Alexa, play Daniel O'Donnell. Hmm. Alexa, volume 10. <laughs> like, will that change? Or uh, downstairs? No, if we're if somebody's playing us now, the big massive podcast, on Alexa. Hardly. Can't hear what it's only saying. Like, Jesus Christ, that's nearly up there with the fish. Mark, what do you think? <laughs> if you're... If somebody's playing us now. If my voice is coming through Alexa and I shout commands to Alexa. Maybe you'll turn on an Alexa device. Alexa, play farting noises. Right on, tell us if it worked. Alexa, volume 10. I know that. Uh, volume 11. It's louder. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to explain it to you? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like that. No, great, great, uh, great crack of the wedding. Then I didn't... Then on Saturday, the fucking thing that you got me wired on the... Do you know what? Somebody rang me from Strabane Athletic, we were having a dinner dance, I was like, would, you know, would they break up some of the speeches or after dinner, they would love Ronan to come on, and I was like... Oh, when did you ask me that? Was it the night of the pod? No, it was the... The night pod night? Uh, uh, maybe during the day. So it must have been all, ah, uh, fuck it, you know what I mean? And I was like, "There's no way I'll do it," but I'll ask him because I'm not going to. I'm not not going to ask you when they ask me in case he did want to do it. And I was like, "Ah, you know what? It's my right in the corner, right?" I was, like, I was thinking of Bob. Bob was our friend Bob. There was one of the founder members. So was Scaldi, Mazzy, all mm-hmm. the boys. So I said, "Ah, sure, be a bit of crack to be all doing you know, up for it." And then on the day, then I was like, oh, "I was after the wedding." I knew you were going to be hanging too. <sighs> you, shouldn't have, you just shouldn't ask me anyway. I asked you, go and find out if it's adults. You didn't find out. <laughs> I didn't even ask. Didn't you? even ask. I didn't think there was adults going. Are you children? 
He said to me, 100%, all adults. I says, man, because it's only stuff I know for adults. Like, I've got about th- three months clean, and then the rest. And it's not even dirty, it's just adult material. You know what I mean? It's not shocking stuff, but it's adult material. So I'm sweating already, it's a warm day. The sun was shining. Really hear the hectic this was. <laughs> First of all, I didn't even I was in one of them farms, I one of them hangovers, I didn't want to see anybody. Mm-hmm. The one of them, and... I broke every rule. Didn't look over anything I was going to do. Just fucking said, I'll be grand. I'll jump up. They only wanted me to do 10 minutes. I'll fucking be dirty, get up, have the crack, get down. <clears throat> so I landed the, the wrong venue first, next door. There was like an 18 for 21st birthday party. And I went, oh, no. As I said, Susan <laughs> Blee was up singing and all. And I was like, oh. And I was on sitting and all waiting to fucking listen. And then I went, there was football. And, I, and the next one, then it was a proper, like a wedding setup. <laughs> Speeches, handing out boys nearly crying, talking about how brilliant Straban Athletic was. I started to go, fuck, I should have done a bit of research here. Because I thought it was Sigerson's. <laughs> I was thinking about like Gaelic jokes and all. And when you get the hurry. I only did one good joke too. I got up and I said, it's on like Scaldi, real football man. Marcel, real football man. Marcel? Marcel. Founder members of Straban Football Club. And what better time to run an event to celebrate football but during the fucking Champions League final? That's exactly the time. <laughs> That's how fucking big football men they were. And then, but so see, before I went up, place well lit up, all windows open, bright. They had a desk right across the front of the... So you stand behind a <laughs> desk. Cordless mic that was cutting in and out a wee bit. And then I seen Wayne sitting at the table, man. The front should have done the shitty pussy joke. <laughs> <laughs> was it shitty pussy? I didn't forget it. Oh, uh, so I went over to one of the fucking organisers, what do you call them? Anyway, I says, man, there's wind there. I had to be grand. Says, so everything I wrote down to plan the do, I had to just go, whoosh, whoosh, literally X for it, and go up and talk old stories about the Ballycombe, and died in my hole. Once just got up and went to the bar when I was called up. Whole bar was packed. <laughs> One's in the back row going, what the fuck's he saying? It's all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Started the fucking sweat bullets then. So I ended up just doing the cat scald and, and Marcel's table. So just, and anyway, you know what I mean? Fucking laugh. <laughs> oh my Ran God. Ran through jokes quick, seen the Uyghur, couldn't do the punchlines. Even, but do you know the, the story I tell about one, two, three, me mama caught me, chucking stones at the RUC. And then I'd knack knack better, I'd give it up. And then, saying damn British, and I seen the Uyghur, and I didn't even want to say bastards. And Mazzy went, bastards home! <laughs> and I went, right. But that's not him. That's well him. done, Mazzy, you were trying to help him. But that's not him, it was all the, the getting stuck into the wife. The stuff that's all in my brain that I can just throw out, couldn't use any of it. So then I was telling a wee bit about being a bouncer, but cut, it, cut out all the, the good the good bits I'm cutting out, like. <laughs> funny bits. And, and funny bits, and I'm going too fast because it's fucking sweating here and everybody's looking at me and what the fuck's going on? And Tell me, he's all panic attack and I've got a hangover and fucking what the fuck's going on here? Everything's bright, everything's shining on me. I'm realising now I'm sweating, so I sweat more. I'm right? Like, Where do you hear this? I'm hating even hearing this story. Right? So I'm like dying on my hole, so there's like 150 people from Strabane think I'm shade of comedy now. Like, and see, when you've a bad night, like that, all week I was fucking considering giving up comedy. I was just like, why am I doing this shit? It does do that, Dee. It does make you go, I have two gigs this week, and I'm like, I'm up here now, damn it. I know, but I don't think you should do comedy out of the comedy setting. So this was like a carpet, so they do gigs, I guess, usually you get about 600 quid, and it's in a different town. So you do it, it's shite, you get off, you get paid. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? But it's all your mates going, I thought you were (laughs) fine. More than that, people don't like you, sitting down there, no? Oh, what's he doing there? (laughs) <laughs> Sitting there loving it, loving you being shit, no doubt. So you're, you're I'm actually loving it about that, to be uh, honest. <laughs> and then the mic, you just know the mic, isn't he it? He rang me every time, and I was like, man, I don't know why you said yes. I thought I was just ring it up. No, man, doesn't say man, doesn't. And I even tried to put him off. I was like, man, you, do you need I even you? said when you said to me, I'm going to hate this idea when it comes to the day. And I said, you're going to be hungover. Like, you're going to not want to do it. And then, <clears throat> so, we did hear the fucking. <clears throat> then it took a fucking serious twist. <laughs> this, this is a serious crescendo there. Yeah. <laughs> fucking took a serious turn then. So I'm on stage. And I've noticed... No, I noticed it's not going well. Mazzy and Scaldi are going to be like... 
Pointing and grinning. Fucking hell, up while you get tired, get tired. Might have got a couple of giggles. No laughing, no real laughing at all, because there was just, the bar was full of commotion. A couple of the young fellas know the play. They're all just sitting there going, what the fuck are you watching? <laughs> they were all looking forward to it and they were just disgusted. Because they held back, man, with the winds. He just couldn't do it. Next minute, I see a doll walking up the middle lady, look, looking as if she wanted to come and happy. <laughs> and I just went, you know what, fuck this. And everybody's being. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> congratulations for one on the... And reading the thing that they want. <laughs> for congratulations for one on the... What the fuck did they want to get in the end? Uh, I've been running boy. Enjoy the rest of your night. People just get on with their day. <laughs> so I stepped off the stage. Your woman runs up to me. Hi, your daughter's been on an accident. I'm like, what? Your daughter... I don't think she's all right now, but... You need to run. And I was like, what are you talking And then I seen my youngest daughter coming up behind her. So I knew it was my eldest. And then I seen Arda at the door, watery eyes. And then I ran out, I said, what's going on? But they were in panic mode. Oh, Kaylee's been in an accident. She fucking her car, they in a back road accident, fucking taking over somebody. Lucky to be alive. Scary. So then you're just straight, I was, so I'm just off the stage, dying a just a shit day. You died, she nearly died? Uh, <laughs> nearly a double death. It's bad, touch wood, fuck me. But it could have been I. But you know what, you can't, you can't dwell on the could have been. No. You fucking safe. You at the wake thinking about the gig. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a fucking said this first, then. Fucking right, cookie. left. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cookie said there'd be no fucking wins there. <laughs> Shovel them up, can you? Lord, I'd be a fucking. If I had a short and a joke about that. <laughs> Why was that bastard there? Eh? <laughs> hey, fucking full lights on, curtains open. Eat the sandwich in the after. <laughs> I'll never get over it. No, sorry for your laugh. I, I know. You're okay. Hey, Ronan, very sorry for what happened. I know I'm not doing the fur trees ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two weeks later, I heard you had a bad one a couple of weeks ago. Hi, did you hear about it? Died me home. Oh, no, your daughter. All oh, right, fucking. I thought you were talking about Sir Pat. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to hell, boys. Purgatory. Purgatory, it is. Watch out, Wombeck. Oh, very good. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh. But sure, if you don't laugh. Mm. I could have been the worst day of my life the next day. You know what I mean? But it didn't. But then I was sort you sort of be in shock a wee bit because everybody is. And family's calling up then this year and, and all. That's, and for anybody that didn't have the podcast out, we didn't do it because of that reason, for personal reasons. Right, you weren't me. in very. No, I wasn't a good farm. So the whole family were coming and drops and drives all day this year. And she was in pain and all from the impact. And she just bit her tongue or something? Bit for her tongue, but all her spo- everything's showing out from the whiplash. Oh, no. And then panic attack and all. So it was fucking scary biscuits. So it was. So that was the end of the weekend, and it was just like Monday, you're waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a roller coaster a weekend. Fucking disco time the first night. Uh, like I was a hero at the fucking, you know, every, every other person, uh, the wedding, were all like, oh, can I have a photo of my wee, wee boy like you? What did you say? 35? <laughs> all out does now. You're a hero, then you have the hangover, and then fucking Sunday from hell came then. I could listen. I would say I think everybody in that room had a new good idea that I was ushered out of there fast because yeah. I stepped off the stage, looked at her, was going to go over to Mazzy and Scaldi and sit and get embarrassed for half an hour, and then head on. But oh, it was just chaotic. And away on, they wanted to text him. Pilot didn't even look at me for much. But it shows you anything can fucking happen. Of course, man. You're only a fucking. You're only a phone call away. Huh? We're just fucking water blends, really, aren't we? I know. When you think about it that way, sometimes it's fucking scary. Like, what animal do you think you'd give a good fight? Let's go. Let's start. Because we were on about in the live pod, we'd run away from a pack of chickens. Something. See if you're sitting in the house and you hear. No, not fucking. chickens. I would kick. But I'm about chickens. You just go out and start kicking chickens. Just chickens or whatever. Depends on anything. But anyway, I I've been a chicken. Nah. Where do you go to? But where do, where's well, like a big dog? Even. I don't know. Like, a big cat. I find big dogs. 
What was that one where you hold the dog up and you snap its back leg? Aye, sure, if you punch a fucking shark in the nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's the one? How do you get the dog? Can I mind? If it's got a hoodie or something, you fucking... You pull its hind legs apart, rip it, clean up the hole. See, when they go on fucking fierce at you, like... No. I would fucking... Like, if it's the death... It depends what dog. So I was saying, I did the fucking week. I just don't know. I just don't think... I think I could beat a dog. Like, even a big dog. Even them big muscly dogs. Like, they only have a mouth. You know what I mean? It's like, you see you lying on top of me, going... If you jump on their back or something? Like, if you just... Hold up what a, about a kangaroo? You just cover up their mouth. Kangaroo? Mm, strong hair. But again, what's... I'm on about a room you can't get out until somebody's dead. Aye, but like, what's... What kind of punch does a kangaroo have, like? Can the the kick. The kick, yeah. Godzilla. Fuck that. What? Rear naked Aye. chunky kangaroo? You know, like big long fucking no better neck. It probably doesn't have the same fucking structures as us. What, what fuck, breathing? What the fuck you had back then? Yeah. What breathing? No, are you going to get us one pipe, son? Or what about a ram? Aye. We give it a swizzle. Get the behind it. Culture style. Uh, no way. Be like a horse. Man, there was a thing on the night about a like a, a famous bear tracker got cut there. Hey, but you know, just just. Just grazed him, he just nearly took the whole side of his hand out, like. What did? A bear. You're not beating a bear, like. We monk, there's, there's like a chimpanzee would take your face off. There was a doll there got her face ripped off. A doll, eh? Like. Woman, I suppose, with thicker skin. I don't think a chimpanzee is. Like, I don't doubt You wouldn't beat it, like, you think you'd beat a chimp of it? No. No. Give it a fag, and then just drag it. <laughs> no. Unless it flung it's shit on, in my face, now. <laughs> There wouldn't be too many, like if you're put out in the wild, you're not lasting too long. You. Me? Rare, rare than five eggs. All right. Anthracite fires. Oh, listen to fucking, <laughs> the jungle barley, barley coming there. Barley coming, barley The dongle. Dongle, the dongle, barley uh, coming. <laughs> no, you're not beating a bear, like. Are you beating a tiger or something? No. Nah. They've got the claws, like. Jesus, you're already going to. You're jumping through some of my animals. To get, I mean, there's a lot of more to discuss here. Hawk, eagle. Try and love me. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go even like monkeys. There's a, there's a monkey that'll kill you like. Horse. Horse would be tough if he decides. And a room? Cow? But like in a tight room, a horse fuck like. If you can't last that leg, How are you going to be this, but? Ride it to death? And I don't mean your type of riding. I mean. Just cover its mouth and stop it breathing. See, man, we're fucked. Without the brains, we'd have been just extinct. <coughs> We're the mushiest, uselessest. I think what else? Sloth. Big claws. Too slow. Be a good fight. Slow. But how do they protect themselves? Fuck <laughs> off. Do you want a bottle of sweet? Do you want to smoke this? Do you want to smoke this, dude? <laughs> Take a smoke, no bother, boy. <laughs> It must be the stonedest animal. How do we get on to this? How, which animal can we be to fight? Uh. I don't know. We are chatting with pussies earlier on. So we <laughs> on the cats and then. There's going to be people listening to this podcast. Uh, We've went from shitty pussy to uh, animal. I know. Uh, the, me doing animal with the wife just to show off to gay people. And I didn't. It was just me We were being vulgar with drinking me. Do you know what I mean? Showing everybody up. But it was a great day. The greys. You beat a hedgehog? Hedgehog, easy. Kick it just? Yeah. It's on a room stand on it? We're barefoot. Spider now, I'll have a bit of bar away. Tarantula? Mm. Not touching it, like. <laughs> How are you going to kill it? Don't know. We just run the whole just, time? Just uh, yeah. it'll wear me down. Dodge it. Uh, all on sex and all that crack. What about a big turtle? <laughs> Donatello would kick your fucking face. <laughs> well, if it retreats on this thing, you're baller. Like, well, so, is the bottom a bit softer? Warm hard? wank. <laughs> Smoke them out. <laughs> Get each side. <laughs> 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 he just slap out. Get you in the other <laughs> just, just lubricate him. See him going out where a foot goes, I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> just fart on it. You're a wanker. <laughs> 
Oh, I got tears that one. <laughs> Should have got double raisin. Uh, Why can I not think animals? Giraffe. Giraffe kick you like mm. a headbutt, they headbutt, they. What about a deer or a boar? Uh, all them fucking things there. Like, pig, a big fucking pig. Is it just true if you let a farm pig out, they'll end up boars in like six months? Grow tusks and fucking hair? Mm, I don't know. Check it out. Like, why would the teeth not grow on crack? Teeth? Like, why would it not grow? Why, would why doesn't it call the teeth brush instead of just brush? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, why why would the, the teeth not grow? Like That's true. Crack- like, nah, I got boars, a different animal. Like, this is a different... No, it's a pig. Comes from the swine. Can, see when you tell a fact... You swine! <laughs> see when you tell a fact that's not true, that you have a look in your eyes, it's like... No, that's a dead eye. It's like... <laughs> it's 100%. It's like he just face traps like this, and he just goes... It's very Shane Gillis, you go... <laughs> <laughs> I know what you were thinking there. Shane Gillis face. Because he has a joke about it. Oh, I was telling you, I don't know. But it was a cracker, one of the girls that uh, was at her table. She's got a Down syndrome son. And he, um, he's a great young fella. And obviously he doesn't tell him that there's anything different about him. You know what I mean? He just doesn't know. He's young. But she's saying she's sitting outside the shop there one day and he was sitting in the car with and this other uh, special needs boy came along and says, Oh, is this your wee boy? And she was going, Aye. He got his knee lovely and all that there, and, oh, and she turned him to the end and said, Oh, Jesus, he's just gorgeous. And then when the wonder went up and your man shuffled on, the wee boy with a down syndrome turned around his man and says, What the fuck's wrong with him? And <laughs> started mocking him, Oh, isn't he nice, eh? <laughs> I thought it was one of the best fucking things I heard, David. Because the man, the, the man said, Eh? The man said that, that he doesn't know. He doesn't know. The young fellow doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know anything different about him. No. He's got down to know, but she just loves life and he doesn't know he's happy. Absolutely. Don't send her away into the happiest people on earth. I know why. There's one there, young young fellow's t- his sister, told him that she's pregnant. You want to see the way he reacted? Yeah. And it was pure, genuine, like, Aye. heartfelt, genuine, like. Aye. He's like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, nobody more genuine, like. Class. <laughs> it's a cracker, but no filter, just no filter. What the fuck's wrong? You can man? be Down syndrome and a cunt as well. Marking them up. The other girl was telling me a cracker too. She says uh, she's a header as well. She goes, "Well, run. There's a boy that uh, runs this thing that we do. It's a charity event, and he's good crack, but he's married." And she's seen him one day, and she's one of these ones that go, we're going to the chippy and go, go and batter these and throw the chachas out the table, you know what I mean? And she said, ah, oh, running, I seen him. And it was one of them days, and the windows are steamed up and all, so I ran over, took them out, slapped them on the front of the window, now screeched round the side, laughing at him and all. And he's got this face on him, like he's shocked. I said, you would be shocked that you see these, no, all this crack. Mm-hmm. And when I squeezed on round, I looked in the back, and there was his wife, <laughs> sitting in the back. Oh my God. Looking out. Oh my God. Oh, Fuck, class hey, you always know women like that. Class story. They just whip them out for just a bottle crack. Here, batter these boys. Uh, <laughs> for everything. Aye. Much as bread. Oh, you actually Aye. bread these. <laughs> Look at them bats. Uh, <laughs> so we had a table of fucking headers. <clears throat> good crack headers, like, so it was good. Good old laugh at the table and then dancing, man. Had to go and change my top and everything. Sweating. Surprise, surprise. I don't think it was bare. Too many gay men about. You know what I mean? Never, you're every, about everybody fucking. You're every gay man's wet dream. Like. Just a moist night then would it be for everybody. Not just my fucking t-shirt and armpits. It wasn't the day to be an armpit, I'll tell you. The sweaty one. Were and you one short inch. sleeve? Mm-hmm. Gonjo. Was it a wee bit more cash or? It was cool as fuck. Everybody's, everybody's dead on. You see two. Where was it again? Um, Bad Fay. The Valor Rose. Oh, I, I like weddings at the Valor Rose. Uh, it's a good spot. It's a good spot. And I was still out because the weather was good. Everybody was outside and then I didn't wear my I'm to go to a wedding. waistcoat. And Go on, somebody invite me to a wedding. Please. Somebody's telling us that the wedding they're going to 11 or something this year. Do you remember there was an age where everybody started getting married? Mm. Sure, you were getting invited to everything? Mm-hmm. That never happened to me. <laughs> Not to me, right? And you're the I always nod to that one there too, you know. Right? The, dog, uh, the dog jumping behind the fence. <laughs> <laughs> We used to get that, me and Terry got invited to everything, never mentioned Kieran. I make sure to say to Terry. 
I'm going what about Never anyway, way, run them. <laughs> I didn't tell you any detail. <laughs> hey, wedding next week or stag, make sure to say the Terry. <laughs> I didn't give There's you. Another one. I didn't give you the chance to uh, follow up on what was happening with you. <laughs> Don't uh, just leave. <laughs> I get it. Like, hey, how long are we in? Forty-seven minutes. There you go. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know what this is, right? Ah, uh, she told me. Did she? She didn't tell me what it is, but she said there's something. So my wife's been torturing me, and him, and they do some sort of eating. Fucking thing, and if it's anything spicy, I'm not eating it. And uh, I think it's so we have to eat. She says there's three things we have to eat the three each first to finish them, the winner, or whatever. And if it's spicy, I'm not doing it, so I'm telling you. She right? said it's not spicy or hot, but it must be smelly or something. Oh, if it's fish, too. Are we going to do it before we even? I don't know. Like, well, this is not really the night for it. Like, I'm not in the mood, do you? Oh, it's fishy, is it? Could be worse, sir. That's not eggs, is it? A so- fucking raw- rotten eggs? Nah, no, sir, no way. They'll be fucked. Sir, I don't even think you could eat them on here because it fuck it's fucking. It's a duck egg. I think it's like. They're rotten? A uh, hundred years old. <laughs> well, I'm not, sir, I'm not eating them. I wouldn't eat one fucking three days out of date. Oh, fuck, look. The cam laminated. <laughs> Aye, because man, I don't even know if you could open them on here. Oh. I don't know if I could eat one in there. Are we, are we going to try it? I don't think so, sir. Man, I couldn't eat fishy or fucking smell it. Let me see that. Let me see the package. Preserved duck egg. Oh man, they're black. They're black and shiny. Let me hear this here. What do you hear? Here, what do you see? Go on. Uh, yes. That's not even the tick in the shell off. Oh. You've water raised just looking at the shell. Just open it and smell. <clears throat> oh, my constitution isn't enough for this. Is that right? But so what if we stink Ooh. this place out? Get the nose out. That's like... Oh. That's like when you're a teenager and you didn't clean your tool for a lot of weeks. I forgot I was wearing headphones. <laughs> you heard it right. Oh, I love the black bottom and that. It's completely black. That's that there, though. That's what, that's what it looks like when it comes out. Right, do we need a banner song or a basin? I'm not eating that, No way. I couldn't. Oh my god, look at it. Sir. Start opening them, sir. I'm not eating them, man. I'm not. That's... Oh, it smells like ass. Eat. Preserved. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> <I> don't... <laughs> Smell it. Jesus. Give it a good snuff now. It's not going to kill you. It's just going to give you a good... <laughs> no, man, I'll be fucking sick. Oh, what the fuck's that going out? at? You can even eat these. Imagine I still eat them. I'm my phone died. Bye, bye. A bite each? No, sir. Well, aye, right then. Go first. <laughs> Take, open it up. Take a bite. Sure, we'll spit it on that if we can. No, I, I, I'll be sick. Like, I don't want to throw up. I do not want to throw up. I will throw up if I eat that. So I won. Aye. 100%. You can have that one. <sighs> Go on, take a bite of day. No, I, couldn't, I could not eat that. Like, why, is she, why does she think we need this? I don't know. 
There's no point in doing my own. I couldn't either. That's what I'm He's saying I do. There is. There's no point in me taking a bite of that my own. And then if you take a bite, I'll take a bite. Will you? No, I swear to fuck. I'm not up on that one, but... Uh, give it a me over there. I'll take it with you. <laughs> What's it squishing? Just get a bit. Oh my god. Take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. I need to see the cars. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, That tastes like egg. Shite one, Arla. Ooh, there's a bit of air after it, yeah. Oh. It's not the worst now. I wonder is it, what's the protein content? I don't want to discuss the flavour until I finish it. You know what I mean? Where do you get the aftertaste? Oh. <laughs> It's not going away. It's the last lap. Oh, the next burp's going to send you home. It's like a wet, wet dog in your mouth. Right, boys, fuck that there. Uh, All right, I stop. It has to be the end of the podcast. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's still coming. Three of them. Oh, it's not stopping. Why is it not going away? <laughs> Why does it just stay forever? No, listen. Oh, fuck off. Here, take that home, dude. <sighs> right, that'll air. Ladies and gentlemen. We just have to add a black egg. Or a fucking 100 year old black egg. Never again. show you, but It's like McDonald's. In the McDonald's that don't rot eggs, you can eat them. What wonder were they pickled? I wonder. Oh, is that old taste? Oh, we'll do anything, do anything for reasons. Get on our Patreon. Aye. This is the Patreon one. Right then, folks. Good night. Goodbye. God bless. Up a fucking hoods. Black eggs. <laughs>